This week, I found a really interesting article by somebody called Kevin McConway, um, who is a statistician, works for the Open University. And um, he has devised a way of um, getting to grips with some of the headlines that we might see um, in newspapers, on the internet, and various other play, play, uh, places uh, about health in particular. So um, essentially what he's done is he's come up with a system. He's got, got a little um, acronym for it, which is John Humphreys. Now, for those of you that don't know who John Humphreys is, um, he's still around, but he was a, he was a broadcaster on uh, Radio 4 on the Today programme. Um, and he was uh, well known for uh, grilling and getting to the nitty gritty of, of politicians, you know, sort of really um, nail them down. He's on Radio 4 on the Today programme on, in, in the morning. He's retired now. I think he still hosts Mastermind on the BBC. Anyway, so um, the John Humphreys is a, is a, is a scale, J-O-H-N, Humphreys all the way through, is a scale to be able to sort of test any article um, or any piece of information that you're being given to really have a little look at, at, at some where it's coming from. Um, and obviously we, we, we we're drawn to headlines. And the thing about a headline... The, the, the person that's writing it, they want you to read it. Now, um, on the internet, that's clickbait. You know, you click on it and, and, and that, that's what's drawing you in and people want to, to look at it. So really, generally speaking, um, any publication has to be paying its journalists and it has to be staying in business. And so there's going to be some vested interest behind it. So this system of John Humphreys is a scoring system. And I'll put, I'll put a link to the article underneath you and have a, uh, a look at it. It's, a, it's very easy to read and it's a nice, it's a nice article. So I'll just have a a quick look at some of what he's talking about um, and and uh, the, the premise is that it's very hard to give you something nuanced um, in a headline you know it's very hard to say well on the one hand and then on the other hand and to get balance and so you know we want to to have some kind of drama involved and, and people want certainty. And um, generally speaking, people go to news sources that they feel um, is reliable. Um, and sometimes we take at face value what's being said. So, you know, it's just a, a, a few things to look at. So if you read an article, particularly around, around health, is it is it a study that is just observing people? Um, so, for example, if you wanted to know, um, if a dictator wanted to know whether exposing somebody to extreme levels of pain uh, or, or some noise call them x pain and therefore did this to their heart rate you know he would just gather those people up and expose those people to that um, and then find out but of course you can't do that so um, any study has to sort of uh, draw into account other things going on um, is the study that's being reported what's this, the size of it is it a single study does it um, is it the new content new findings or does it bring something else in you know um might there be a different explanation for for the thing that you're being shown that that isn't being uh, clarified in the article? Um, what's the size of the article? Or the the size of the study? Um, is the um, is the original um, information available as far as you know? Is there a, a you wouldn't expect necessarily a link to the original paper, but is it easy to find? Are the are the authors uh, named in it? You know, the university or where they came from? Is it easy to get onto Google and and, and find the original study and at least the uh, the abstract for it as well? Um, is the headline exaggerated? Is it? You know, is it scaremongering? Does it, you know, mobile phones can give you um, uh, cancer, which is a Daily Express headline from a few years ago. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a silly headline. And, and um, the way that the story was based was um, it really wasn't, it wasn't an article that said mobile phones can give you cancer. But of course, people have leapt to those conclusions. We have 5G and all this kind of stuff. Um, does the article suggest that there's a higher risk and does it grade that risk? And it's something that I'm really um, interested in, 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 that I've become interested in over the last couple of years about like if um, something is doubling the risk, well, you know, what's the risk originally? So if, if it was 10 in 100,000 and the risk is now doubled, it's still 20 in 100,000. So you say it's double the risk and it's, of course, that sounds scary, but it's still only 20 in 100,000. Um, is it a, a, a public relations puff? You know, who's, who, is somebody trying to sell you something? Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a couple of programs on the internet about veganism, for example, and I don't have a problem with it, with the content. It's just that certain studies have been nuanced and taken out of context. And so therefore it looks um, unfortunate the way that it's being sold because it's trying to convince you of something rather than just presenting the data to, to speak to itself. And that's, you know, that's therefore means that the, uh, a lot of the other stuff is, becomes unreliable. Um, is there independent comment 
um, in the article. And that's something I always look for in any article. Is somebody else who's not related to the, 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 uh, the study, to the uh, researchers, to the university, have they been sought out and asked to make independent comment, you know, expert um, that's in the field? Um, and if so, you know, then, then that's going to lead to a little bit more reliability. Um, is there, um, um, as I said, is there uh, anything I'm not being told here? Is what am, am I not um, understanding? Does the story look at all the the aspects involved? And uh, so, for example, you know, you might say, well, this substance A is very harmful to your health, but it may also be that it has great benefits to your health, and that's not being covered as well. Um, and um, is it giving you unjustified advice? And so the article that sort of says, you know, uh, you get them quite a lot in the health pages, and you should have give up sugar completely. And um, because, you know, this one study has shown that it can make your left ear grow three times bigger than your right. It wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, so um, is, is the advice justified? And is it relevant? You know, that's the other thing is that so what? You, you look at that and it's like, well, well so what? Um, so looking at it, the, the usefulness of it. So have a little look at the article. It's really interesting to to go through, and it really my my motivation here is to sort of to give people um, some tools with which to have some kind of critical um, analysis of what's what's being put in front of them. There's a lot of information, and a lot more people are interested in in the science and doing their own research at the moment. And um, the, the the research tends to be leading them down sometimes a, a path I think uh, that is very nuanced and very uh, not necessarily um, always um, balanced, shall we say. So I think that there are there are things that you can do just to check out where things are coming and the provenance of a of a good story or what's being what's been given you. And so this is a an interesting way of doing it. And it doesn't you know it doesn't say anything's right or wrong. It just gives you the opportunity to score it. If you've got a, a high score on certain things, you might need to look at where the uh, background of these things are. So have a look, tell me what you think, read the article um, and, um, and see if you can apply it to somewhere else. Give me an example of what, what you've seen there and, and we'll, we'll go from there. So leave your comments, get involved with the debate, share it, subscribe, do the things you're supposed to do on social media and I will see you next time with something else that's uh, tickled me or got me thinking. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.